I, I have a couple of questions, one for you. Um, all of these uh, actions that are being taken, uh, you know, that are taking place right now as emergency measures, do you foresee um, permanence in any of them? For example, the agriculture um, measures that are being taken, anything that's being worked on right now, could it be permanent? Thank you, thank you for the question, because I, need, I think it's important to separate the measures that we need that we're going to need to have in several months. One is the response, the emergency response, and uh, how are we going to surpass this uh, situation. And the next one will be the recovery of the island. Um, we can talk about recovery using FEMA, but we, I, I envision that we need to have different uh, measures to be applied to the island. And that's the reason I've been asking the Speaker of the House uh, to take, for example, the recommendation of the economic growth, economic and growth uh, task force uh, from last year. It was a report in December of last year that actually recommended to the island many measures and many federal laws and uh, programs that to date did not apply, or more than fe 40 federal laws that um, treat Puerto Rico differently uh, from the states, even though we are 3.4 million American citizens here. And uh, that means that what we're looking for is, and I will tell you an example. Right now, the House is, is studying a tax reform. A tax reform is important for Puerto Rico for many reasons. 40% uh, of our GDP, of our economy, is coming from the manufacturing industries. And, and, and then you can divide that in pharmaceutical, medical devices, among others. Uh, that means that if we are not included, in terms of being part of the U.S. Uh, to the tax uh, uh, contributions in terms of those uh, corporations in the island, uh, we may lose the opportunity to maintain those corporations here. As an example, uh, we are sponsoring a bill uh, to uh, have again the Section 199 from the Domestic uh, Internal Revenue Code that allow domestic corporation from the United States to be applying on the island. That provision expired last December. That means that we you got to break many companies that are coming from the U.S. that are not having that incentive. Uh, so those people make good jobs on the island uh, and are helping in, in, in the recovery of the, the island in terms of economy. Um, the other section is the tax from cover over. Uh, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands receive a reimbursement from the run industry in, in the United States. Um, and right now, that provision expired last December. That money is directly allocated here for STEM uh, studies, uh, conservation funds, housing, uh, among others. That provision should be included uh, during the tax reform, although those bills are already being filed and presented by this representative. Um, those are two of the measures. But we are all also talking about what kind of um, incentive, and we're not talking about going back to 96 section. We're talking about something that can be used here and can be used in the rest of the states, like the empowerment zones, uh, combined with community uh, empower zones. And all those federal programs may be applying uh, for the island because of the poverty level. If you compare Puerto Rico with the rest of the states, uh, we have a higher poverty level than even Mississippi. This, uh, this state with more poverty to live. And we're talking about 14%. Uh, you don't even have that in the states. Same thing with the average salary a year uh, in the states. It will round uh, among $42,000 a year. Uh, for Puerto Rico, it's $18,000 a year. So when you compare that in terms of uh, the, the differences, having you know, having said that, you have in Puerto Rico applying all federal laws for employment, all federal laws for um, um, EPA, and, and so forth. Uh, we need to be included. We can be competing. Uh, we are not going to compete with the United States in terms of the industries. We're going to compete with Ireland, Singapore, and the rest of, of the world. For that reason, uh, we should be included in a package uh, that allow Puerto Rico to maintain the current industry, more than 14 pharmaceuticals, um, you know, that are state-of-the-art, that are being invested in the island, 
and that we can lose that, that opportunity, even uh, with the product and services that are being manufactured in Puerto Rico for many years. So in that regard, we are working in a package. Bills that are already being filed, others that are, are, we are working with, uh, the Speaker's Office, in terms of having just a package uh, for Puerto Rico, and we're not talking here about grants or uh, allocation, we're talking about what measures, what tools uh, we're going to be using for Empower the Island after uh, the, the hurricane. And, and those are in the tax area. Uh, same thing happened with transportation, same thing happened with labor, uh, and that will happen also with small businesses. One of the amendments that are already being filed is that when we got hit by Sika uh, years ago, our e tourism industry uh, received a huge blow, and it, it was a direct hit. Uh, one of the provisions is that for you, that you can apply for the disaster program if you have been um, uh, if you've been affected but an epidemic or a national disaster declaration. In this case, we already have it. So Puerto Rico can apply because of the disaster uh, uh, statement of, of the president. But uh, you know, signals like Sika or many others, it, our industry can recover. And then we, we have got different uh, bills regarding that. So we're talking about small business, agriculture, education, um, housing. Um, right now, if you compare uh, the fair market uh, share rent in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands, you will see that in Virgin Islands you can receive $1,500 uh, for vouching for housing, and Puerto Rico is $800. And you say, why? I mean, and the reason for that is, among others, statistics. We are not included in federal statistics for many cases. And those statistics, statistics are the ones that have been used to calculate the formula for many of these programs. So as Puerto Rico is a ter territory and it's not included in many of those, uh, we have been directly affected uh, by those formulas. Same thing with the disproportionate share hospital cost. Uh, the Puerto Rico pay that tax, but we can't receive it. Uh, so that is another recommendation we got. It's included in the task force uh, of PROMESA. And, and, and we've got a list of all these measures, and those are the package that we need to be included for the island for the recovery uh, afterwards, uh, the, the emergency process is gone. Thank you. I have, I, have, I have one more question for FEMA. For FEMA. Um. <coughs>